what's done in secret will come to light. I know it feels like no one sees how great you are. Mm. No one sees how like hard you work or no one sees how much you really do because it's expected for you to just do it. But he sees it all. Mm -hmm. And there is a great treasure that is waiting for you because you have been obedient mm -hmm. to the most important call that anybody could ever say yes to. Mm -hmm. Saying yes and answering the call to be a mother, God has entrusted you with a life that he has a specific plan for mm -hmm. to touch other people. Mm -hmm. Like he entrusted you with a ministry. Mm -hmm. What you are doing is important no matter who sees it, who applauds it, God honors it. He's looking at you smiling and honoring your obedience to that ministry of your children. And just know that he sees you yeah. and he hears you. And when you're in the closet crying, and when you're in the shower crying, and when you don't feel like you've done enough, and when you feel like you've the worst mom ever, right? Mm -hmm. He sees you and he knows your heart. Just keep loving those kids, keep loving God, keep being honest with him. And I promise you, I promise you, what's done in the secret will always be revealed in the light. a day in the life of a first time mom. If you're new to my channel, I had a baby boy, a chocolate baby boy, about a month ago. He was born on December 14th. Um, his name is Kyrie. He Right now he's sleeping. So, I mean, of course I would introduce you guys to him, like formally introduce you guys to him, but he's sleeping right now. So yeah, I just wanted to film a day in the life of a first time mom. I will say that a couple days postpartum, I was not feeling like myself. I felt like I was going like down this dark hole. But what I did to get myself out of it was I did the things that, you know, put me, made, made me feel like I was me again. So my lashes, my hair, my nails. That might not be the case for you guys. Um, for you, it might be a massage, a hot bath. Just find a way to get back to yourself because when I tell you, everything that people tell you when you're pregnant, all the unsolicited advice, first of all, it's true. It's all true. When they say get your sleep while the baby sleeps, all of that shit they say is so, so, so true. My camera acting up, y'all. But like I was saying, everything that people tell you when you're pregnant is true. But it doesn't hit you until you're, you're living in it. Like I'm telling you, I think after the second day that we got home with Kyrie, everything kind of hit me at once. And it's a real big life change in terms of freedom, in terms of being responsible for a human being. Everything changes my life. Did a complete 180, 360, I don't know. It did a complete turnaround. Like I was feeling like I was like losing myself. That's why I wanna get my lashes done, nails done. And now I'm kind of feeling like myself and you know, I'm getting out the house cause I just be in the house, stuck in the house and it just makes me down. So if you're a first time mom and you watching this or you're pregnant and you're watching this, listen to me, you can get through it. You're gonna get through it. If I can get through it, anyone can get through it. I'm telling you, the first couple days was rough. When you're exhausted beyond, you could even, you're like your wildest imagination and the baby's crying and you don't know why the baby's crying because you're a first time mom. You don't even know what the hell going on. When, those, when that's happening and you feel like giving up, I'm telling you, don't give up, okay? That baby needs you. And I'm telling you, God got your back. So I just wanted to tell y'all that because I feel like certain things only moms would understand, only females would understand because males will never understand what we go through. So, I mean, they see it, but they don't, they will never understand it because they can't go through it. So yeah, today we are going to be washing Kyrie's bottles. I gotta do laundry. I wanna organize his room, which is not a nursery, you guys. I... Let's talk about it. So I got a room dedicated for Kyrie, but I'm so obsessed that I just feel like I'm never gonna put the crib up. He's never gonna sleep in the crib. I need him near me. Girl, that crib gonna stay right in that box, if I can be quite honest with you. So um, I do wish the dresser was up and the changing table was up, 
But then it's just like, if I have to change him, I'm not going all the way to the changing table. I want him next to me. If I'm about to change him, I just put a blanket down because I don't want him to shit or pee on my bed. Um, especially not this new mattress I got, girl. Um, but I just still want to have his room organized. So right now his room looks like an Amazon warehouse. Um, a lot of you guys showed love for the baby registry. The baby registry is still linked um, below in every video. The only thing left on there is diapers. Thank you guys again to everyone who has supported. But yeah, so we got to organize, do laundry, sanitize. Um, I want to give you guys some breast, uh, breastfeeding, not breastfeeding, but like more like pumping tips. Um, because you guys know my supply has been up, down, up, down, up, down. But yesterday I pumped and everything is, it's like starting over back when I was like two days postpartum. So that really gave me the motivation that I needed. So it's the morning time, clearly, and he's sleeping. So what I did was I went ahead and washed my eyes. Took me a shower. Um, I did get my lashes done because like I told you, I just want to feel beautiful because postpartum will really make you feel ugly. Whoa, we're gonna talk about that a little later, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm still taking my prenatals. Um, I'm also taking some um, medication, not medication, but like some supplements for my supply. And I'm also drinking lactation tea. There's a tea that you guys recommended me. I don't know where it is. It's right here. It's called Mother's Milk. You guys were telling me all about this and y'all were telling me to buy it. I bought it on Amazon. It took forever to come, but I am going to try this out right now. And then we'll pump a little later. I'll, like I'm gonna pump throughout the day, but I'm gonna show you guys me pumping a little later. Y'all, let me tell you something. You know who calls my phone every day about Kyrie? My mother. So we're gonna call my mom. She always calls. It's like people don't even call to ask about me no more how I'm doing, nothing. It's, they call me, where's the baby? They come to my house, where's the baby? Like, damn, what about me? So we're gonna video call my mother. It's grandma. And she, I'm Haitian guys, I don't, for the new subbies, I don't know. So, in case y'all are wondering what language I'm about to be speaking, it's Haitian Creole. Hello, Munio. Hello, Munio. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm Yeah, it's morning time. Good morning, papi. Good morning, papi. Got it your life. So consider like a night. Mm -hmm. And then my bones, I'm drinking some tea. Okay, drink your tea. Somebody talk to me. Gonna... Okay, I'll call you later. I'll call you later. Okay, baby. Okay. okay. Mm, I love you guys. We love you too. Bye. Bye. Because you know, Granny be wanting to see him. His grandma. His grandma. His grandma. His grandma. Grandma. His grandma. Grab. Hi guys, I'm Kyrie and I love my mommy even though I don't look like my mommy. I look like my daddy. I'm my daddy's twin. And we use mommy as a passageway. And we use mommy as a passageway. And we use mommy as a passageway. And Are you looking at the balloons? Mm. What was that? Oh, all right, y'all. So I had to take a break, feed him, and um, he's now down. So while he's down sleeping, I'm gonna go ahead and pump. And this is so far my favorite pump. I love this pump better than the one I was using before, which was the Mom Cozy M5. I just feel like this one has more suction, and I also love, you know, this little remote right here. I just think it's like very convenient. So I'm about to edit real quick. I have so much stuff to do, you guys. Like, the work just doesn't stop. Like, trying to be a mom and then, you know, trying to take my influencing content creating stuff so serious. Like, it just, it's so much to do. 
and not enough time in a day. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is the 17 mil. Another suggestion for y'all is to get nursing slash pumping bras. I'm wearing one right now, you can't even tell. That's how discreet it is. This is a black one. This is from Mom Cozy as well. I have literally every pumping, every nursing and pumping bra from Mom Cozy. It's very convenient because if he starts crying, I could just grab him, unlatch this, and of course nurse or pump, and then bam, latch it back. Well, this is really convenient because when I was a couple days postpartum, girl, I was just running around the house naked. Like I was just naked. The suction on this is very strong, so be careful. And I, I needed the strongest as possible because I needed to suck on my milk out. All right, so when it comes to washing bottles, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I use Dawn. I use the Platinum Power Wash. I don't have the baby bottle soap. I don't have that. Um, yeah, so what I do is I get me a little clear bin. I put warm water in it. This is how I do it and he's doing just fine. So please, I don't wanna see no negative comments. Mm -mm. The bottles that I recommend for babies is this dr brown's bottle because it has they have like let me show you guys i'll show you on this one they have these little gas stopper things as y'all can see i guess it like helps the baby drink and eat more slowly i guess and i like that because Kyrie will tear a bottle up in 0 0.2 seconds so i really really like these 10 out of 10 recommend. So what I do, I just get me some warm water. And I put a little bit of soap. And I use my bottle cleaner. And I clean away. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show you guys the current state of his room, I guess. It's a little crazy in here. Um, the last time you guys seen it, it was way neater, but I have a lot of stuff I need to organize. And I didn't realize that I have, I don't have enough wipes and diapers, like I, I don't. Um, and it's kind of scaring me. The wipes is what's really scaring me because we go through wipes like it's nothing, but if you're a first time mom or expecting mom and you're watching this stock up on the wipes and diapers don't be like me i didn't have a baby shower or a maternity shoot do not be like me y'all have a baby shower um just don't go too overboard because i know a lot of you guys were saying that um uh, people will rsvp and they won't show up so you guys just have something small um or if you don't have a baby shower do a gender reveal and if it's if people want to guess it's a boy tell them to bring wipes if they want to guess it's a girl tell them to bring diapers and that way you can have a stockpile because baby, when I tell you you're gonna need it, like I didn't understand it until I was going through it, like I told y'all. So y'all might watch this and I understand what I'm saying or not take it serious. You're gonna need diapers, wipes, and formula just in case. So I'm gonna show y'all the room real quick. Don't judge, I know y'all like to judge, right? Bam, this is his room, okay? It's crazy right now, so. It's all the clothes that I don't even know what the fuck. I hope these ain't newborn. If these are newborn, we're screwed. Now this is zero to three. Okay, good. 
zero to three. I got my pants in here. I have to sort through these clothes. We got wipes, we got toys, like we... He doesn't have a dresser, so I don't have anywhere to put all these clothes. And then on top of that, he has a whole bin of clothes in here, like brand new, that obviously can't fit him right now. I haven't really put anything on the hanger, so maybe I should do that. Then I have some size one diapers, but in here I need to get clean. So we're gonna do that today, before the sun go down, because as y'all know, The light don't work in here, so yeah. We're gonna go ahead and... <sighs> Jesus, I don't wanna do this. But I'm at least organized, so yeah, let's go. I'm in the back of my car if you're new to the vlog or new to my channel and you probably you probably don't know but my boo got me a mercedes-benz glb and right now 250 mercedes-benz glb 250 right now we in the back of the car looking crazy because y'all see how i was just cleaning in the room this is why i be cleaning in the room because i be having stuff and i be thinking that i be needing stuff that i think i don't have but i i just be checking and then i'll be having it so i was actually gonna go buy this this is a car seat mirror oh i don't want to blind y'all i was actually gonna go purchase this but while i was cleaning the room just now i found it so this is a car seat mirror if y'all don't know what it is then i don't know what to tell you but 
This is a mirror that goes. Hold on. So the mirror goes right. I look a mess. The mirror goes right here. So as I'm driving, I can see Kyrie. If y'all can. Yeah, through my through the rear view, I can be able to see him. So you just attach it to the um headrest and then yeah i'll be good to go so i actually was gonna go buy it but i'm so happy that i found it okay so it goes through the seats the little headrest thing okay and then it velcros and then oh i get it clips oh this is easy it clips and then Jasmine, get your fat ass up. Somebody gonna think I'm an issue robbing. Okay. So this is how it looks, y'all. It looks so good. I'm so happy. Car seat mirror. And then the car seat that I use for Kyrie is the Even Flow. Can y'all see? Yeah, Even Flow Pivot. That's what it's called. So it's a car seat. And it also comes with a bassinet and a stroller. So it's like a three-in-one stroller. So yeah. Even flow. That's what this is called. I'm gonna go to the front. I'm gonna go to the front of the car and test it out. And from the driver's seat. I think I locked myself in. I'm so paranoid. It's a child lock. I know you lying. I know I'm not locked into my own car. Somebody put a child lock on the car. Lock. Unlock. Who would ever child lock my... All right, y'all, we gotta do something ghetto. We gotta come over through the front. This is great. I look like a maniac. Why is this light on? I'm so confused. Y'all, I just got this car. I don't even know how to work it. <laughs> like, if I could be serious, I don't even know how to work this shit. Too damn big for this. Mm, shit, my legs. Oh my god. Hopefully, they don't think I'm robbing anybody. <laughs> oh. I can't tell from here, guys. So, I'm looking and it doesn't look right. I'm looking through the rear view and I can't see anything. So, I might have to push it down some. I don't know. Let's see. Think that looks good. I had to put it down. Let me see. Perfect. Well, I can see my baby. I can see my baby Kyrieski. I don't even want to get out the car. I want to go for a little drive. I love my car. This is the perfect luxury mom car, y'all. Oh my god. A Mercedes Benz GLB. Perfect luxury mom car. You guys actually haven't seen the outside of it. So I'm gonna show you the outside of my car. Show y'all how it looks. If you got this far in the video, that means you're a real one. So that means that you're going to get to see the car. Because a lot of people have been asking. I'm not doing no car tour. I might. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But I'll show you guys what my car looks like. So this is my car. This is a 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLB 250. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and it got the Mercedes on the, like, stop it. So, GLB 2 has a lot of space, you guys. The seats go down, all that. But I'll do a, um in-detail tour for y'all. Let me see how when I get inside, because it's a little... Mm -mm, I'm paranoid. I gotta get inside. Yo. Look who's sleeping. Kyrie! He sleeps. This is a little lounger. This is from Jewel Baby. It stopped working. 
That's because she left it on, y'all. She left that bitch on for two weeks straight. Jewel baby, y'all need to send me a new one. Top power. I got this. I got this as a baby registry gift from one of you guys, and I just want to say that it no longer works. It doesn't swing anymore. It was good while it was working. Yeah, and then he just kept leaving it on, so it stopped working. Me? Yeah. You ready to turn that thing off? You didn't turn it off. From out the box. She opened that motherfucker out the box. Max power. <laughs> <laughs> Max power? That thing was <laughs> thing always rocking. Woof. No, that's Woof. true. Woof. That's true. We burnt that thing out. Y'all, don't you look good? No, I do not. I appreciate it. They keep that. asking, do you get maternity leave? I am on it Monday. Yes, y'all, because y'all keep on asking. He does. You looking good, looking like a soldier. Coming at a tantrum present home. Oh, boy. Y'all, so where you want to move to next? Where? Before before I go ahead and end this vlog, where you want to move to next? Where? Japan. Come on, be serious. Japan. I want to go to Japan. I know, that's why I said that. I know. So where you, where you want to go? I just want to go to the East Coast. DMV. Top th What's your top three states? States? Or duty stations. Duty stations? Yeah, for me, you and Kyrie. Fort Belvoir. Virginia, okay. Fort Hunter, Fort Gordon. Fort Hunter, where's that at? Georgia. Oh, Hunter Army Airfield? Oh, I didn't know they called it Fort Hunter. I don't know what it is. It's called Hunter it. Army yeah, Airfield. Don't it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, and then what's the last one? Fort Gordon. Okay, I'll, I'll go there. Okay. It's my top three, probably. Oh, and I got one last question before um, we end today's vlog. They said they want to know why we're not married yet. We'll get married, y'all. We're going to get married? We're going to get married. Okay. All right. We're going to get engaged. Okay, y'all. Do y'all hear? Why y'all be? Why y'all be? Why they be asking? They be asking questions? like, why y'all not married? Cause I be like, that's, oh, give that's me one of them YouTube questions. Why y'all not married or something? Yeah, that's they all. They always ask that. Say bye, Kyrie. Me, me and Jasmine are growing. We we are growing. I was gonna do a whole. I look white. Who white mom am I? Kyrie. I look white. Anywho's y'all. And please tell her that she that Kyrie look like her. Kyrie don't look like me. They say he look like you. Oh God, he look. Y'all, like who me. he look like? Don't do that. You can't. Yo. he looks like you. I'm telling you, he look like you. The little boy. Comment like down me. below who he look like. He looks like like this. Bang. No, he don't. Right on your face. Anywho, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. This is a day in the life. I was gonna show you guys like a shower routine and stuff, but I'll do that in my part two, depending on how this video does. So, bye, Kyrie. Say bye, Biz. Oh, see y'all. Bye, guys. See y'all, sub subbies.